people think that someone living with dementia or Alzheimer's, they just can't do anything. That's not the case. An awakening started as an idea. If you have nothing to do all day, every day, you're gonna start acting out, getting upset. I know I would. We try to teach everyone. You're not here to perform a task every day. It's not about their disease. It's finding what people remember to do because it's just ingrained to help people find their purpose and what they like to do. And that's how we honor people and life changes. Just meeting the residents where they are. We don't look at it as a challenging behavior. We look at it as an unmet need. We do our very best not to ever say no to them, just to make sure that whatever they want to do, we find a way to make it happen. My mother was very difficult when she first arrived. She was recovering from a heart attack, so her mental state was worse than ever. She got quite aggressive when she first got here, and she was getting abusive to us and to people that worked here. They didn't take it personally. They spent hours sitting with her, and so now we know she's cared for. I mean, look how cute she looks. <laughs> <laughs> she's come a long way. She really has. <laughs> Grandma Jenny. Where's Grandma Jenny's apartment? This is Grandma Jenny's apartment. This is Gus, and he is the house pet here at Acumen Lakeview Commons. Gus seems to get a lot of treats and a lot of attention here, those big brown eyes that he has. And when he gives you that look and he turns his head, cock it, cocks his head a little bit. Our residents, they really truly look at Gus as being their pet. For some that don't want to do group activities, he builds a relationship and a lot of times that'll lead to getting them out of their apartment more often. It really just brings a lot of fun, joy, laughter into our community every single day. The other piece is reducing the medications that people with dementia and Alzheimer's tend to be put on because of behaviors and acting out. And when you take away the medications, you find out that many times they're acting out because they have nothing to do. After working with her medications, showing her a lot of love and attention, things have gotten so much better. When reducing antipsychotic medications, we don't have to worry about the side effects. Even if they were in the middle of a life enrichment activity, they would fall asleep. Once we realize that, they're just awake more. They sleep better at night because they're awake during the day. They're with us. It's a win-win again for everybody. The activities that they do here are amazing. All the staff really tries so hard to get everyone involved. And I'm just so happy that my mom is here. She loves it. It was a real battle trying to get my mom to a point where we can feel like we can have our lives back. We're extremely grateful to have trust that when we leave her here, I don't have to worry about it when I go to bed at night. Sometimes the families are afraid to visit. They don't know what else to do. And now they want to visit because they know there's something I can do that brings back memories from the past and everyone feels more comfortable and happy with one another. Daughters can be daughters and sons can be sons. That's our goal.